What's up guys? This is Umar Farooq and I'm bringing you some news regarding former Super Eagles head coach Samson Siasia. Samson Siasia was banned on Saturday by FIFA for life. Here I'm going to be telling you the real reason behind the real reason why FIFA banned Samson Siasia for life. Before I go into this video completely, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification button so that anytime I post a new video, you'll be the first to see the video. So let's go into the matter straight away. The real reason Samson Siasia was banned by FIFA for life. So on Saturday, news broke out from FIFA. FIFA adjudicatory chamber broke the news that Samson Siasia the former official of the NFF is guilty of having accepted that he will receive bribes in relation to manipulate, manipulation of matches and this violated FIFA code of ethics so Samson Siasia was said to breach act number 11 which is the bribery act of the uh, FIFA ethics of 2009, 2009 edition of FIFA code of ethics so from what they have on their media release they said the former ethics proceeding against Mr. Samson Siasia was initiated on 11 February 2019 and stemmed from an extensive investigation into matches that Mr. Wilson Raj Puramal attempted to manipulate for betting purpose wow so coach Samson Siasia According to FIFA, saying he was he was trying to like work for Mr. Wilson Raj to manipulate football matches for purpose of betting. So now I'm going back to the article. Note this date. Note this date. 11 February 2019. The former ethic proceeding against Mr. Sam Cesias here were initiated on 11 February 2019. So let me continue reading from what we have on the media release by fifa this large scale investigation was conducted by fifa via its competent department and in and, and in cooperation with the relevant stakeholders and authorities so this is a deep matter fifa are, do, are not just coming out to see they're banning something for life but they've done this they've done this accordingly according to fifa they use they've done this via their competent department and in cooperation with relevant stakeholders and authorities now i'm continuing and I'm, I'm reading from it from the re release i'm continuing my reading in its decision the adjudicatory chamber found mr found that mr samson siasia mr siasia had breached act 11 bribery act of 2009 edition of fifa code of ethics and ban and banned him for life from all football related activities so all football related activities in bracket administrative sport and any other activities at both national and international level in addition a fine in the amount of swiss franc chf 50000 has been imposed on mr siasia so chf 50000 which is swiss francs is equivalent to 18 million naira fine imposed on something siasia so the decision was notified to Mr. Siasia today, date on which the ban comes into force. Wow. Wow. This is serious. So this is what FIFA released on 16th of 2019. And they said this process into investigating something Siasia was initiated on 11 February 2019. Note this date. As we dive into this whole finding. We all know Mr. Sessia, for me, a very nice man, no nonsense coach, very, very serious person, serious minded coach. I'm surprised, we are all Nigeria, Nigerians, sports fans, football fans. Most of us love Sessia, and we were not happy to hear this news of all people, something Sessia. But let me tell you what happened. I went straight into this investigation, and one name that struck my mind was when reading this release by FIFA. The name Mr. Wilson Raj Puramal, who attempted to to um to to bring Siasia into this act, got me wondering who is this guy. So I went digging 
to find out more about Mr. Wilson Raj Puramal. So, I found some interesting facts about Mr. Puramal. I'll be taking you through all this process as we go through it. So, I went straight to Wikipedia and checked out this Wilson Raj Puramal. Wilson Raj Puramal, as you can see on the screen, is a Singaporean man's fixing expert a guru in match fixing and is notorious for several match fixing scandal which has which 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 was happening way back in the 90s he was first jailed for match fixing in 1995 in singapore so this guy is well known for for match fixing serious match fixing so poor amal traveled to england on behalf of a Singaporean match fixing boss to fix two FA Cup matches in, in 1995. In his autobiography, Puramal and an associate attempted to bribe Birmingham goalkeeper Ian Bennett and Chelsea goalkeeper Dim Dimitri Karen, failing both times. So, these people he attempted to bribe this goalkeeper refused, so he failed twice. So let me take you down to the shocking thing about this man. So Wilson Raj Puramal has published his match fixing memos in a book titled Kelong Kings, written with investigative journalist Alessandro Reggie and Emmanuel Piano. The book was addressed on April 28, 2014. In the book, Puramal claimed not only to have ferried Nigeria and Honduras to the final round of the 2010 South African FIFA World Cup by fixing their qualification matches. Wow! Wow! He ferried Nigeria and Honduras. Ferried, for those who don't know the meaning of ferried, it's like transporting. So he carried Nigeria and Honduras on his shoulder or on his back and ferried them to 2010 World Cup. Wow! Wow, you can see this cycle on your screen. But also to have ring competition in Atlanta 96 and Beijing 20, 2008 Olympic Games. Wow. Wow. So this got me to dig more about this. So look at these two key things I wanted to see. Nigeria, qualification, 2010 South African FIFA World Cup. He was said to, he said he claimed to have quali helped Nigerian to qualify to the World Cup. So I want to know how. And also he has played a role in match fixing in Atlanta 96 and also in Beijing Olympic 2008. Wow. So let me show you more shocking information. On reading more, you can see Wilson Raj Puramal appeared in his first televised interview on August 26, 2014. On CNN, during the interview, he boasted about having fixed up to 100 games, including FIFA World Cup qualification matches. This is serious. And you can see a cycle in red. I'm going down now. On February 19, 2015, Al Jazeera aired an investigative report called Killing the Ball, produced by Invisible Dog. In which Wilson Raj Puramal described how he ferried the Nigerian national football team to the 2010 FIFA World Cup in South Africa by rigging their qualification match against Kenya, played on November 14, 2009, in Nairobi. Wow. Okay. Okay. Let's see how this plays out. I'm going to do some more digging. So let's go and see this. I went digging for information and I found an article by The Guardian UK in 2014 where Puramal claimed to have helped Nigeria World Cup match fixing. So as you can see on your screen, this is the article by Guardian in 2014. Puramal he then detailed a meeting with a football official in which he promised to help Nigeria qualify for the World Cup. So, in this report, he was talking to a football official, a Nigerian football official. 
He then detailed a meeting with a football official in which he promised to help Nigerians qualify for the World Cup in return for free reign in organizing three warm-up matches and a cut of the money FIFA provides for hosting a training camp during the tournament. First, he claimed he claims to influence three players on his payroll to help Nigeria to victory. To help Nigeria to victory in one of their qualifiers. So he claimed to influence three player players on his payroll to help Nigeria to victory in one of his one of their qualifiers. Then he claims to have promised the Mozambique FA a hundred thousand dollars bonus if they were able to hold Tunisia to a draw and so stop Tunisia leapfrogging Nigeria and seizing automatic qualification. Mozambique so secured an unlikely 1-0 victory. So yeah, Mozambique won that game in 2009 and Nigeria went on to beat um, Kenya and Nigeria qualified ahead of Tunisia. Wow. Wow. If this is true, there was a lot of dirty business going on behind the scene in football. So let's continue reading. You can see on your screen, my plan has worked and I was the unsung hero of Nigerian qualification to the final round of 2010 FIFA World Cup in South Africa. Writes Puramal, ferry Nigeria and Honduras to the World Cup was a personal achievement. Wow. Wow. So this man is a very notorious man when it comes to football, match fixing and football dirty business. So like I said earlier, he tried to bribe some um, FA, um, some goalkeeper, Birmingham goalkeeper and Chelsea goalkeeper in the FA matches, which they declined. And he has also, as you can see down, downward, he also claimed to have attempted unsuccessfully to bribe referees at the World Cup itself. Wow. Wow. And this man has served several, several sentences in Singapore, in Finland. <sighs> wow. So this is what I can say about this guy and I, I'm bringing more about him as you will see.